Chad, and uh, one of the things I wanted to do today is show you how to get your Helix Floor controlling and also inputting sound into your DAW. Now the principles here apply to all DAWs, um, <clears throat> but this is specifically with Logic um, Pro 10 and um, Helix Floor and oh. then Helix Native. Let's first notice that I have HX Edit up here and I'm going to open the Command Center window. All right, I have a command in here, but we're just gonna put it back to none. So we're gonna open the Command Center window and this is what you see. You get your foot switches, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So we're going to work with the, the first few here. Let's just work with this one, switch five. All right. And notice over here, we have a uh, logic pro here ready uh, to open an empty project. We're going to open an empty project. We're going to, and then we're going to choose a software instrument and we're going to choose native as your software instrument and the output will go to output one and two and we're just going to hit create and the way i have logic pro uh, preferences in the audio set i've got it going out to my roadcaster pro and um roadcaster pro that's where the audio is going. And then I have my Helix audio set as input. I'm going to lower this to about 256. We're going to apply changes. That's the buffer size. Close. All right. So we have nothing. Nothing. What we want to do is we're going to, to now that we have that set to receive MIDI signals. And we have Helix Native in here. We have it set. We need to go ahead and add, a, you know, you can do this with a software instrument, but right now we're just dealing with the Helix. New audio. Oh, we got that coming in. Here's the thing. We don't want any sound coming out and we don't want to monitor the input. Uh, we want the stereo out to be nothing like that. And then we want to go back up into instrument one, which we're, we're going to rename as Helix Native MIDI, right? And then we're going to name audio two Helix Input. All right, so we keep it straight. Nothing. So we go here to the Helix Native. Make these a little bigger. So we go up here to Helix Native, and we turn it on. Boom. And we're going to go ahead and, for the sake of Ease, we're going to go into, I'm going to just say user three. We're going to start a new preset. Nothing. And then I'm going to come down here to the end and I'm going to bring it down to path two. So we have a long path. And first we're going to go ahead and add an amp. And cab, let's go to the Stone Age. Still not getting anything. That's because you have to go up to the side chain, go to input and we'll choose input one. Okay. All right. So, all right. Good enough, right? All right. So now what we're going to want to do is let's say we want to delay we want a little delay on here. I'm going to make this kind of simple. Let's do a uh, stereo ping pong. Okay. 
and we're gonna put a drive let's put a drive in here let's just take the alpaca rouge <laughs> Cool. All right, well, we got that. So now we want to we want to be able to turn this drive off, right? So we'll hit this. Let's turn my volume down here. And uh, first we have to go. Well, let's see. We we want to put drive on, say pedal number two, foot switch number two. All right. So what we've done, what we've done here is we've set this MIDI CC to twenty. And well, we want to go ahead and go to Helix Native and control it. So we want to control the bypass on and off. And we so we hit the little brain, the little little auto detect. And then now we hit that. You notice now? Look up here. We can control that with the foot switches. And I have another MIDI device hooked up here that I can control that. It's so easy peasy. We got that. And now, say I want to be able to turn off the delay. First, let's set the delay. Let's set the delay for trails on. Okay, and I want to I want to go back to automation and choose this bypass. So let's go over here, and I want to put it on this one. So MIDI CC toggle. We're gonna choose. Let's choose uh, twenty one. Twenty one. Okay, done. So now I'm gonna hit. Hit the brain, and I'm going to choose, boom. Okay, that's working. Now let's say, say I want to do something like, um, we, we want to control the drive with a foot switch. Okay, so... We want to do it with a control, MIDI learn, but first I must go over here, go to the command center. I want to do that one right here. CC toggle and MIDI channel one. And let's go 20, let's go 19. Okay, done. Now we go over here, MIDI Learn. All right, then we can set our minimum drive and maximum drive. So you see. Okay, so that's it. So what I would do here is I would, one, go in here and save as MIDI G-U-I-T-A-R, guitar, save. Okay, MIDI guitar. But then I also make sure that you save this preset, save the library, MIDI T A R MIDI guitar. Okay. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, now.
resave that, make sure it's saved. Then uh, file, save this project as mid-e-t-u-i-t-r. Now that it's all set, okay, boom, easy peasy. Now, new software instrument. And we want to run a software instrument like keys into it. So it's really quite the same, but remember you want to you want to take your oops, get a little room here. You want to take your software instrument and you want to turn off the output, right? And then let's choose piano, grand piano. Let's go ahead and, and no output any of those effects and no out, output that. So, boom. All right. So now we go to Helix Native. Turn the Helix Native on, and we want that bus instrument to be coming through. Turn a little delay on. So we can turn off that and then make sure the drive's off. Easy peasy. So there you go. Um, soon to follow is the settings that I've got the Helix set at. So you can see we are here at the Helix where I have the three uh, commands that are set up in the command center for the foot switches. So we want to check the MIDI and make sure the MIDI is working correctly. So we hit the menu button, we go to global settings, and you want to make sure that you are on the MIDI tempo screen. And if you look at the first page, the reason I have my MIDI on six, the base MIDI channel, is because I use other devices to control and I have multiple MIDI devices that I want to control. So I, I put them with different numbers and I had just chosen uh, number six for this unit's um, base MIDI channel. On MIDI through because I do not want to pass the MIDI communications at least for this particular uh, scenario because I have a uh, nectar pacer here on the floor I turned off passing any MIDI signal through so do you want also want the MIDI receive clock to be turned off this is how I do it but you can choose your own setting the uh, MIDI send clock, I turn it to MIDI and USB per preset on tempo select. And uh, global BPM, I've got it at 120 at this point. Over a page right, uh, on the MIDI uh, over USB, I turn on uh, MIDI PC receive. So it'll receive settings from you know, the unit, that could be turned off I'm because I don't need to receive anything on here, but we'll just leave it on. And MIDI PC send, you want to send it over MIDI and USB, and I turn off duplicate PC send. So uh, this is how I've got it set to work with Logic. Thank you so much, and I really appreciate you watching the channel. Please share, comment, and like. It really helps the channel.
thank you so much. Have a great day.